Hey guys, this is Carter, and um, today I'm going to be showing you how to make a bootable USB for Windows 7 or maybe Ubuntu or Mac, depending on uh, what ISO file you have. Today I'm going to be using Windows 7, so let's get into it. So just plug the USB drive in. Uh, so here it is. And right here you can see it says that right there. And if I double click it, you have all these in here. So, you're going to go in the description and download this Rufus right here. And you're also going to download an I the Windows 7 ISO file. Mine is in my downloads. I'm going to go ahead and get that. And put it. So, here it is. I'm not going to really show it. It's right there. So, um, go ahead and get that. All right. So, you're going to select, well, I actually recommend right-clicking right here and clicking Format first, and make this fat, and then make this default allocation size and label it Windows 7. Click OK. Make sure there's nothing else on this or else it'll ruin the whole installation. That's what this is doing. All right. So here we go. So now you can see it's free. So we're going to go ahead and do what we did earlier. Oops. All right. So keep it labeled. And you're going to go over here and select ISO image. And you're going to select the Windows 7. Now, when the Windows 7 is going to take, I would recommend doing it overnight because it, it took mine about 16 hours, which really sucks, but yeah. So there we go. So this is basically just how to put boot, how to make a bootable Windows 7 flash drive. So I'm gonna label this Windows 7 again, and click start, and click OK. So what this is doing is it's actually installing the ISO, which is really um, the ISO is really an installation and you really usually burn them on to a disk but this uh, is a lot easier because some people don't have disk f or don't have um, don't have CD-ROMs in their PCs and or yet because this has actually happened to my friend he didn't have a CD-ROM yet but I let him use my or I installed this that's why I have this whole thing that's how I'm showing you this tutorial that's how I got this on so, so I'm just going to go ahead and wait for this to be done, and I will get back to you. Let me just make a note that this does take quite a while. So if you think it's not working, it is working. So, Alright, so here it is done. So you will just hit see done, so just close this. And what you really need to do is actually right click on it and click format. Oh no, not format it, oh god. Don't format it. Eject. So now it says safe to remove hardware. So once you hit eject, you can just go ahead and take it out. And um, here I have it, and just make sure it's a, it may, just make sure it's around 8 gigs, because 4 gigs, it's, the whole ISO is probably going to be around 4 in the setup. Um, let me see how much this is. It, it, oh. Oh yeah, it was it was 446. So yeah, you need about an 8 gig. Um, but once you're done, you can just plug it into any computer you want and install the operating system. So that pretty much sums it up for me. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video, and have a good day.